Thank you very much. Without a wasting uh, any time, let me just start at the beginning and say there are no winners and there are no losers. And those who are not here that did stand, they will get my election. So there are no winners, there are no losers. The people who are here haven't won anything, but this is a sacrifice, this is a commitment. No winners, no losers. So there is, not, there is therefore nothing at all to celebrate. Nothing at all to celebrate because there is work to be done. On behalf of uh, your standing committee that you have just elected, I am standing here the video of this to say to you, the video. we accept the mandate that you have given us. And we shall do our level best to ensure that we do whatever needs to be done to recreate this organization, to reinvent the movement of people, to rejuvenate this great, 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 great organization of black people in this country. We will ensure that we do that. This is our organization. This is our Azabo. This is ours. And it being ours, it is an organization of black people. And I believe not only in this country, but I believe the world over. That's how great this movement is. And it is a movement not only of the living, but it is also a moving a movement of the dead spirits. That's how great this movement is. <laughs> Having said that, quickly, I want to pay homage to the membership of this great organization as well. How many people out there have kept on saying that Azapo is no more, Azapo cannot rise again, nothing of Azapo can happen, Azapo can never even rise from the ashes, Azapo is gone, it is no more, it is forever and forever no more, yet this great, great, great membership, through your sacrifices, through your contributions, You've made it a point that Azapo will never be history, but it will be part of history. And you have done that, you have done that without, as I've said before, without you having been given any incentives, without you have been, having been promised anything, no incentives, no nothing, yet here you are. And you have made it a point that this movement is here to stay and this movement shall be here even after all of us shall have died, this movement shall live forever. And I've paid my homage to the membership this great, great membership of this organization, this cadership, but it will be a miss of me if I cannot pause and pay tribute to the leadership of this organization, Azam. And then I've got to start at the beginning and say, thank you, President Tukwa for having held the court. Your leadership was not the easiest of leadership. 
it was not the easiest. You only served two years, and the other two years, there is nothing you could do. Because this, our organization, Azapo, was virtually banned. There's nothing that could happen. And so, if you did not achieve anything that you and the, and the outgoing standing committee, the leadership of this organization, did not achieve, you should not be cruel to yourself because with that space of time, you achieved everything you ought to have achieved and here is your organization. And so I thank you very much, Comrade President Tuwane, and I have noticed, and I'm taken aback, and I'm emotional to see that Within our midst, we still have the presidents of Azapo who were part of the founding leadership of this movement. Isn't that amazing? Please do give them a hand. And I'm talking about, I'm talking about Comrade Mange. I'm talking about Comrade Nefrobo. And I'm, comrade, I'm talking about Comrade Seth Scuba. It's amazing how these people could have that endurance to be still with us when those with whom they started have since died. Some of them could not take it anymore. Some of them have left this organization alone. But yet here they are, and they are still with us, and they don't care that they are don't getting as much they could get in terms of accolades, because their movement is not what their peers out there is. But here they are, and they are saying, we are going nowhere. We are not going to leave Azapo and find ready-made better homes, but we will remain here and create and build a home for ourselves and then build Azapo into a formidable warm, if not hot, and the biggest home it could be for every black person in Azania. Here they are. I pay tribute to them. I pay tribute to them. Having said, to, having said that, I stand here on behalf of your central committee and I'm saying to you, one of our major, 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 major mandates and tasks is to re-lionize Azapo, to make Azapo a lion again. can be dangerous to a lion than a lion that does not recognize the fact that it is a lion. Because a lion that does not recognize that it is a lion, it will be recognized by other animals and dangerous animals in the jungle in the forest that this is a lion and therefore they will treat it as a lion and they will attack it first and yet it will do nothing because it doesn't think it is dangerous and it doesn't think that it is fear and it doesn't think that a it's got to do something by the fact that it is a lion and then we are here to wake up that lion and we are here we are here this afternoon to return deep into the mouth of that lion. We are here this afternoon to ensure that we are hardening the paws of that lion because that lion must be able to unleash its paws as a lion does. It must be able to bite as a lion does. It must be able to roar as a lion does, it must be able to hunt as a lion does, but the hunting that it must do, it is the, the hunting of liberating black people. 
it is, a, it, 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 it is the kind of hunting that ensures that there is no racist in this country who illiterates black people and yet this lion keeps quiet. Yes, yes, because if it is hard, if it happens in your area, in your village, in your township, that a black person is ill-treated by a racist and yet you keep quiet, then you have a responsibility to account to us about because you are as guilty as that racist is. Because we have let, we have let down black people. And then, as we re-lionize Azabo, we've got to make sure that we return Azabo to one of its most fundamental traits, and that trait, it is to return Azabo to action. Azabo has to be an action-oriented organization. We can never be a sleeping organization. We can never be an organization that folds its arms. We can never be an organization that zips its mouth. But we must be an organization that goes back to action. And Azabo is nothing else but action. That's what we must do. Both are the days that you will come to the Central Committee and give us 20 pages on a glossy, glossy, glossy covering that do not speak that you did back at home. There is, in my view, only one question that every structure will answer at the Central Committee of Azapo, and that question is what have you done for black people? What have you done for black people? You are not going to tell us any other thing other than what have, in the past three months, what were you doing for black people? What have you done for black people? That's what you have to tell us. You've got to tell us how many black people have you recruited? You've got to tell us how many structures have you built? You've got to tell us how many forms of action in terms of defending black people, in terms of developing black people, that you have done. Other than that, nothing. Keep quiet. Sit down. Because we don't want English. We don't all want, we don't want philosophy. We don't want rhetoric. What have you done for black people? If you can't answer that question, sit down. If you're not prepared to Answer that question. Get out of here. Get out of here. Because you are as good as not being here. If you can't answer that question. And you must understand. Once Azapo returns to itself. Once Azapo returns to it being a lion. That it was and still is. Something is going to happen. What happened to Steve Bigo is going to happen to you. What happened to Mapeta Mohapi is going to happen to you. In other words, once we return to action, you must understand that we shall begin to be bruised. Our face cannot, be, cannot remain like this if we get into action. Once we get into action, you must understand that we are going to jail once we, we get into action. Once we get into action as Azapo should and must and will, you must understand that we are not going to be this number because we are going to die. We are going to die. We are going to die. And so that point must be made and fed. And we must make the point that in Azapo, we shall be one. Whether you like it or not, in Azapa, we shall be one. We won't be two. We shall be one. It doesn't matter whether we are millions that we should be, but those millions will be one 
in terms of focus and in terms of mandate and in terms of political program we shall be one we shall be a team in Azapo and I don't care if I hate you if I hate you but you shall continue to remain in Azapo because Azapo is not an organization young Melvins never you did not join me you will remain in Azapo even if I ill treat you, even if I talk badly about you, even if I don't like you, but you will remain in Azapo because you never joined Nelvis. Never. You joined Azapo. We shall be a team. And as a team, you must understand, in a team, the most effective players in a team, if you understand football, are not necessarily those players who are with and on the ball. The most dangerous players are those who are running off the ball. Those who are running on the ball. So, in Azapa, whether you are on the ball, but you will run off the ball. You will do the third person run in Azapo. And in Azapo, if you are in this team of Azapo, we shall not tolerate in Azapo any person whatsoever who, when we shall have plotted how to defeat the enemy team, and that person goes and tell our secrets to the enemy team. Never. We shall not tolerate a player in this team of Azapo who shall, when we are playing to win and defeat and liberate black people, and that player of ours shall then not pass to the other player of Azapo who is in a position to score. We shall not tolerate that. We shall not tolerate a player in this team of Azapo who shall be tackling their own his teammates. You can't do that. You can't do that. We shall not tolerate in Azapo any cater who deliberately scores own goal. In Azapo we are one, we shall be united, and then not only us, but we will also unite those who are not here. Those who are Azapo, but they don't understand that they are Azapo. We will make the point that they are here. But as we make the point that those who are Azapo, but do not know that they are Azapo, are here. But that will not be our preoccupation. But because in Azapo, in Azapo, our mandate and task can never be to recruit members of Azapo. We must populate this organization with new people, young people, women with fresh ideas. It is when you see a person walking into an Azapo meeting wearing a t-shirt which is wrong, with wrong colors, then you realize that this organization is growing. Because when that happens, it means that you are really and honestly recruiting grass root people out there. It is when it shall be difficult for us to speak English in our meetings that you will know that we are getting there. We are recruiting in Azab. For so long as we are comfortable in speaking English in the manner that we are do, you know that we are speaking to ourselves, we are not with our people, because we can speak their language they don't understand, but they are not here, they are not with, they are not with us. As I made that point, let me just make this point and sit down. And this point, congrats, is this. There is no time for rhetoric. We've got to be able to speak a language that is understood by our people. If you're going to go out there and tell people that uh, oh, the only thing you can say is that uh, land, 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 then that's where you end. You cannot break land down 
for our people to understand you are in trouble. Because that language should be able to translate into defending black people here and now. They are living in shacks. What are you doing before the land comes? Our people are being, you know, uh, thrown into the dens of lions by white racists. What are you doing before socialism and land comes? What are you doing? Our people are homeless. They are sleeping in the streets. They are hobos. What are you doing before socialism and the land comes? Our children. We are told about 327 schools, and those are black schools. They still are condemned to beat toilets. What are you doing about that before socialism and land comes? What are you doing? What are you doing? What have you done for black people? And therefore, this organization will be again, and it is used to be action oriented. We are not going to beat about the bush. Come 2024, our big stop to check how much we have done shall be 2024. In 2024, we must begin to check how much we shall evolve. Because Congress, there is no point in being in electoral politics if we cannot honestly and sincerely with our hearts participate in it. We must participate, comrades, and we must build structures. We must build machinery that ensures that Azapo is each and every legislator in the country, right from the council up to the national legislature. Azapo belongs there. It is our duty to mainstream black, mainstream black consciousness and still be called because this philosophy of black consciousness has to be a governing philosophy. It can never be a jealous philosophy. It can never be a jealous philosophy when our people are doing what we are supposed to be doing. When other people are governing for something they did not sacrifice for and die for. And we are here, we sacrificed for it and we died for it and yet we are not the ones our people, the manner they should be, we should ensure that Steve Biko is governing in this country, in Azania, and Azapo is the one that is doing so. Manja! One Azania! One nation! Comrades, uh, thank you very much. And I think at this point in time, uh, before I invite somebody to give us a notice on food. Can we get that notice on food? What is happening about food? Those who are in the know, can you help us about that? Please give a hand to the president of Asapo, Comrade Chukwa. Oh, President Chukwana is not going to talk about my president. You know, he, he, he lived and stayed and slept and nearly died in caves for this organization. If, if I don't understand it, I will go to him for direction. Thank you, President. <laughs> is there again? Okay. It means if uh, there is no, we will, I wouldn't want to close Congress if we, we don't understand what's going to our laws. Is there anybody, or oh, there is a, sorry? So food is ready. I am told that food is ready. At this point in time, I understand you cannot sing, but as 
the president that you said I should be and must be, can I request you to stand up and clap and clap and raise this roof because you, 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 you deserve that. Thank you very much. And uh, can uh, somebody lead us in the national anthem as we raise our fists? Sorry? Hmm? Are we allowed to sing? Sorry? Are we allowed to sing? No, we're not allowed to sing. <laughs> you all, I'm told, we're not allowed to sing the national anthem. But what I mean by that is that at least you are humming it internally, inside. That's what I meant. So you can uh, raise your fist and then you hum it in your heart, inside your heart. Thank you, Mabudin Chao.